China's answer to the Terminator is here, and it has a buy it now button. Following months of buildup, the Shenzhen startup engine just officially launched its new full-sized humanoid named the T-800 as a nod to the iconic synthetic human from the movie franchise. It's gearing up for battle, quite literally, as the startup aims to end Unitree's hot streak heading into 2026. As it races toward an initial public offering, Unitree is also busy toughening up its new adult-sized humanoid. Is a matchup inevitable? Engine is scaling production of cyberpunk-inspired humanoid and quadruped robots after securing nearly $140 million in funding earlier this year. The startup, launched in 2023 by the former head of Xpeng's humanoid program, is reportedly seeking a billion-dollar valuation as it aims to scale into thousands of units in 2026. Engine markets the T-800 as a full-scale labor replacement solution, claiming it offers performance above most adult workers in both strength and endurance, at about one-third of the cost. Engine showcased the humanoid's dynamic explosive power, with cinematic footage of it performing moves like round kicks, jumps, and kicking open a saloon-style door. The internet's reaction was reminiscent of when Engine emerged from seemingly out of nowhere in fall 2024 with its first full-sized humanoid and its freakishly human-like walking gait. Skeptics questioned the authenticity of the footage, saying it looks too polished. Defenders pushed back, arguing it's just smart marketing for a legitimate product now available for purchase online. Engine shared this behind-the-scenes footage to back up its claims of authenticity. Xpeng triggered a similar reaction when it revealed its next-generation iron humanoid with an uncanny catwalk. To counter conspiracy theories, the EV maker shared dramatic footage of engineers undressing the humanoid and cutting through its synthetic skin to prove it's not some cosplayer. According to Engine, the T-800 stands 173 centimeters, or about 5 feet 8 inches. That's shorter than early prototypes listed as 185 centimeters or 6 feet, like this model that sat in a Game of Thrones style throne at the 2025 World Robot Conference in Beijing. And 15 centimeters or 6 inches below the movie version. Its height is in the same range as perceived leaders in the humanoid race like Tesla's Optimus, Optronics Apollo, Digit by Agility Robotics, and UB Texwalker S2 but it's significantly heavier at 75 kilos or 165 pounds. The T-800 features an aerospace-grade aluminum alloy exoskeleton and a reported 29 degrees of freedom in its body. Its peak joint force reaches 450 newton meters, which on paper surpasses 90% of men in their prime. However, it's below another recently unveiled Chinese humanoid, the Fibot M1. That robot reached 530 newton meters in lab tests, which Beijing-based Fibot says makes it the world's most powerful humanoid. With the higher torque, robots like the M1 and T-800 could, in theory, outperform their peers, and even some industrial robot arms and strength-based tasks. However, that assumes its balance and control systems, its sensors, and its build quality matches its contemporaries. For grasping, the T-800 has three-fingered end effectors with seven degrees of freedom each. Engine's adoption of the grippers over dexterous five-fingered hands mirrors the pragmatic design choice made by engineers at Boston Dynamics Developing Atlas. The tri-point configuration is the minimum required to achieve a stable, non-slip grasp on objects in industrial settings. Reducing the number of moving parts minimizes mechanical complexity, lowers the potential for failure, and makes the gripper considerably more durable than high degree of freedom hands. Companies pursuing full five-finger dexterity insist it's key to achieving true general-purpose usefulness. A three-fingered gripper can be a powerful grasping tool, but it's too bulky and imprecise for electronics assembly using tools made for humans and pressing buttons on industrial control panels.
The T-800 is one of the first humanoids to use a solid-state battery, which Engine says powers it for four to five hours per charge. The battery's design replaces the liquid electrolyte in typical lithium-ion packs. With solid material for better safety, higher energy density, and more charge cycles. The tech is still emerging, but industry analysts expect solid-state batteries to become the norm for humanoids in the future. Humanoids running on solid-state energy, like the T-800 and x Peng's iron, are being used as a testing ground for the eventual wider-scale deployment in electric vehicles. The T-800 perceives its surroundings with its 360-degree omnidirectional LiDAR system and Intel RealSense depth cameras. It's trained using Engine's proprietary end-to-end -end vision language action model, which is the same kind of system that humanoid companies like Figure and One X Technologies use. The T-800's pricing starts at $25,000 for the base model. Engine requires custom quotations for its other three variants an open-source ecosystem edition for researchers and developers, the Sharpen Pro for higher-performance industrial use, and the ultimate version, the flagship Max. The entry price is comparable to other full-size Chinese humanoids that have hit the market in 2025, like Shenzhen Dobit's Atom, Limix Dynamics's Oli, and the H2 by Unitry Robotics. The higher-end configurations are equipped with NVIDIA Jetson Thor chips that deliver up to 2,000 tops of onboard AI compute. According to Chinese state media, Engine has entered a procurement plan with Dwolin Technology to deploy at least 2,000 humanoids over three years in scenarios like policing, traffic safety, security patrols, and new retail. Engine is preparing its T-800 humanoid for its inaugural Mecha King robot boxing event scheduled for late December 2025 in Shenzhen. A matchup with Unitree's new full-sized H2 humanoid appears inevitable. Unitree just shared this footage of the robot delivering a knee strike strong enough to knock a much smaller G1 robot's chest plate off. The robot is also shown sharpening its kickboxing skills with a humanoid and a person its own size. There's growing interest in robots in the ring, with UFC and Unitree teasing a collaboration after the Hangzhou-based robotics leader held its first humanoid kickboxing tournament earlier in 2025. The company is preparing for another blockbuster coming year, but there's no shortage of competitors seeking to slow their momentum. For more on Unitree's H2 and other humanoids to watch out for heading in 2026, check the related video.